Hey everybody, what's up? Um, today's video, I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm getting back to this as I promised. I'm going to review a Derwent product. Um, I decided to go with Inktons pencils because the only thing I have out of storage right now. Um, which I have the set of 12, and I also have the um, not the unsoluble um, liner pencil. But I don't know. That one. It's in a box somewhere. That's not the important um, part of the set. That's something I bought extra. As you can see, I have used these um, a fair amount too. As you can see, um, I actually have a, a crack in my um, my leaf green, but I'll buy another one. No big deal. Um, anyway, yeah, you can see I've used them a fair amount. They're kind of like watercolor pencils in a way, um, but they're not. You use them in the same techniques as watercolor pencils. You know, you color it or whatever, and then you do a wash and it. Um, but it's a lot more intense as far as the uh, tones. Now, I have a few pieces here in my art journal that I've used both watercolor, not art journal, both watercolor pencils and the ink tins. Um, I was going to do a couple little small samples for you guys, um, but I thought that the, uh, the art journal spoke enough for the product um, as far as the comparison. A lot of people ask, oh, okay. Well, you know, what's the difference? You know, I, I'm not going to spend the extra money because I think Intense Pencils might be a little bit more expensive. Um, so far, Derwin is the only one I've seen that has a product like Intense. Um, and a lot of companies make watercolor pencils. I know um, Prismacolor, I think, has a, a set of those. Derwent has some. Um, you get my, my point. I think a lot of companies have them. There are even some cheap ones. I think um, Walmart has... What is it? Windsor? No, it's not Windsor. I don't remember what they have that they carry, what whatever brand they carry, but um, they even have watercolor pencils now. So it's not something that isn't available. Um, and then obviously you get what you pay for, probably more than most of the time. So I'm going to show you guys these few pieces here that I did. Um, now keep in mind these aren't necessarily, they're not finished pieces. They're not designed to be, you know, out there. They're not like full-on sawed out ideas this is like for my personal thing so don't be too harsh on it um, I started off my art journal here by doing a uh, kind of like a welcome page and stick like a letter but the coloring is what I was want to talk about okay here this coloring in the background goes from a light blue to like a medium blue phase converts into like a purple and it goes to a, like a purplish red down here that's watercolor pencil but these birds here, okay, they're, they're not very well done uh, because it was my first time experimenting with my watercolor pencils. I had never used them. Um, but I do like them, by the way. That's another video, though. Um, that's intense. And see how dark it is compared to the, uh, the watercolor pencil? But that's the kind of thing I found out. Um, I do have at least one more here for you guys. I just started this not too long ago, so there's not a lot of pages done in it, but there's some. All right, now this is a mixed media page, so it's not all ink tents and it's not all watercolor, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I'll explain what everything is, okay? Um, okay, now in the background here, this is watercolor pencil, and the heart with the headphones that's ink tents. You see how vibrant that is? That, that pigment is really just pop out red. Um, and then that's that's one nice thing. And this is all paint, so don't, don't pay attention to that. Like, that's all painted on there. But the heart and the headphones on it are intense. Like I said, the background is watercolor. Now, the watercolor has an interesting effect in it. But like I said, that's another video. But you can definitely tell the comparison. Um, the water does some to the watercolor pencils, but it doesn't do a whole lot. But the intense, it just makes it really pop. I love the pigment that you get out of it. Um... It's a really nice thing, and and it's nice because you know you could use India ink, but that can get messy because you know it's actual ink. And granted, your ink tents could get messy too, but it's far less likely. All I did was color in the area that I wanted, um, to color in, apply it a, a wash, and it took care of it for me. Obviously, you probably want to make sure that you don't get a whole lot of water, but you know, I mean, this is just a, a sketchbook. This this art journal is just a a blank sketchbook. Um, 
and I don't even know what weight the paper is, but it holds on to. See, it's, it's not all, there's a little bit of bleeding through the back. So now I'm on, um, online. Um, I decided, um, that I should tell you guys, like, when I do a review, like, how many colors and things, there's certain things come in and all that. Um, but, I, my computer's having a little problems, um, finding and, uh, actually getting onto the Derwent website. So I went to dickblick.com, Blick Art Materials. We, most of you guys who do this have heard of it. Um, if not, it's a nice site, uh, pretty cheap stuff. You get really nice discounts, and if you're lucky enough to have a store in your city, you'll love it. I do here, and in St. Louis, it's amazing. Um, St. Louis is one of the towns that's lucky enough to have multiple really nice art stores. Um, and I'll do a video about that later, but this is about Inktense. Um, as far as what Blick carries, um, looks like they have a set of 6, so 12, 24, 36, 72, and then a, a few, like, special sets, like, they're in the wooden boxes or whatever, of, which is a set of 18 and a set of 48. Um, they range, um, according to this, this is their prices, by the way, this is it, you know, um, and this is what they have listed online right now. It's... October 27th, so it might be a sale. I don't know. It doesn't say really. Okay. Um, but the set of six is $7.99, and then the they range from $7.99, and the set of 72 is $88.79. That's the most expensive set they have, um, is the set of 72. In case you're wondering, the set of 18 in the wood box was is uh, $39.99, and then the set of 48 in the wood box is $79.99. I don't know. It says those are new items. I don't know anything about those. I haven't even seen them yet. I'll show you guys a picture before I get off. Um, it says here um, that there's 72 colors of Inktense pencils. Um, and I believe that you get... Um, The only thing that I didn't like about getting the set 12, I got them because I had a coupon and then I got, came across some money from Christmas um, last year because I got them about a, almost a year ago. In, in January, it'll be a year. But um, these, any 12 or smaller doesn't come with the um, non insoluble intense outliner pencil, which is a really nice thing to have. Um, but if you get the 12 or the, or the 6, it doesn't have that. It looks like every other set does. Well, actually, it doesn't say that the wood box set of 18 has it. It doesn't say that. I will link you to this page down below so you guys can see. And uh, for those of you who haven't heard of uh, Dick Blick or Blick Arc Materials, you'll be able to check it out. Um, this is going to take you directly to the Intense page. And you'll be able to sell, like, see all the different colors they, they offer. Um, online, okay, each individual pencil on this website, okay, markets for about $1.34 a piece. So if, you know, you buy the 12 and you decide you want a bright blue or a carmine pink or a cherry red, you can buy them. And I know that, I think, you can't quote me on this, but I think Hobby Lobby sells them too. I think Michaels might sell them. Um, I'm going to show you guys the pictures of the sets. Here, okay. This is the set of six. Okay, it's on a little cardboard thing, so um, it's not you know not fancy packaged. I wouldn't say. Uh, this is the twelve. This is the a um, little bit different from the one that I have, but it's you know still the same. It's a nice little aluminum tin. Here's the opening, the inside of it. Um, Twenty four. There's the inside of 24, here's the 36, the outside of the 36, here's the 72, it's a multi-layer tin, um, the outside of 72, here's the wood box set of 18, those look really nice, um, there, I guess the wood slides from the side, um, there's the outside of that, that's the 72 again, this was the 18, that was the 18, that's 18. Seven. There's the 48. Sorry. Um. Here's the individual pencil. 
you know, so you can get a better idea of what it looked like. And here's some sample art that they did. Now, obviously, it's not what I did. This is something that they have available on the Blick website. So um, I'm sure if you go to um, whether it be DeviantArt or Google, you can find some more information on them if you want more info. Um, but like I said, um, go ahead and pick these up if you're... If if you'd like to have like that watercolor, that paint, that ink look, but you don't have, you know, something that, if you're a workspace, you don't want to get it all nasty, you don't want to get it all covered in paint, not that getting everything covered in paint is nasty, but if you, you get my point, I would pick these up. I don't think they leave a huge mess. I think that, I personally picked up the 12, and then I picked up the outliner pencil in addition. Um, but I think I paid a little bit more per pencil, like extra pencils, than what Blick sells them for. I didn't get them at Blick. I get them at um, a store called Art Mart here, which I, I love them too. Um, shout out to Art Mart if you're watching. If for some reason you see this, um, I personally think that if you're gonna buy them, I would get the 12 or the 24. Um, and that's that's enough for most people. And then you can go pick up another color if you need to. But if you want to go out and you never want to have to go get that again, there's 72 colors. I believe that, you know you get one of every color in the 72 set. So if you want to buy them all at one time and not pay the what two bucks a pencil or whatever it is at the time that you buy them or wherever you get them, pick up the set of 72. The 12 works for me. Um, plus I have the eyeliner, and it's not something I use every day. Although it would be a product that I could see myself using every day. So. Uh, Definitely go ahead and pick you guys up a set if you are into the pencil uh, with the wash kind of thing. Um, I will let you. I will shoot another video this week, um, telling you what the next the series of reviews that I'm going to be doing is um, to keep you guys up to date. So until next time, see you later, and uh, yeah, go pick up some ink tents.